Before I start, I want you to look at this and then be able to know the direction where this conversation is going to take today. Ababe mwa kubye gulo mwa kubye batono mwa kubye tu jia kukuba babi waine o jia kude waka wanga tolaba ah bibi sita jia kujia kende nalufenya jia galabali me kuta bakone tia gasa kuyingile otuke wabu wana wabu subi neka no kakazi kakakalo akaina amanyo goku nguru wakatusi mbuno kagala fukale di kari inge nsozi obo wone kabu titirae mwenaba yimbi e basi nkulaba Tujia kugano imba kwa epas, tujia kukone mpi. Waikibenda, tujia bakone mpi mwena. Papapeti, bati boys. Epas, waikibenda, mwenobu imbi imbi muliba bati boy. I know that threatens you. It disturbs you. You just can't believe what you just watched. In simple terms, it is the true definition of hate speech. Very heartbreaking video that is making trends on social media. It is very heartbreaking that the person saying whatever that is said is donning in a t-shirt that has the photo of the President of the Republic of Uganda, General Yoweri Kaguta Tibuhaburam Sebedi. It is very wrong that it is very okay for this video to trend and he speaks with a lot of confidence his name is Alexis at Ismail a sympathizer a supporter fanatic of the current government or the ruling party the national resistance movement in his words he says we are going to beat you up we are going to silence you and we are going to do in our means to make sure that you don't say a single word he threatens to kill lives and he says because he belongs to the national resistance movement whatever that means but the danger in these words is the fact that so many people are quiet as this continues to trend so many people are quiet and probably you could say is only one person but he's only one person that is doing the speaking he's building trust and confidence in other people that will do the acting mr president this is wrong this should be, should be condemned mr government this is wrong the Secretary General of the National Resistance Movement, Justin Kaswelu Mumba, the chairperson of the NRM, this should be condemned. No one can say those words while donning a shirt that has a photo of the president and we go silent about it. He stretches it too far, talking about the family, threatening the family of a presidential candidate. That is the true definition of inciting violence. And as I've heard so many people being accused, dragged to courts of law, charged with inciting violence, this said by Alexis at Ismail is the true definition of inciting violence. And we should see him being charged over what he's saying. He's saying them in a very, very critical time hard time if i may say are we going to keep down to, to sit down and be like it is okay it is wrong mr government it divides it threatens it incites and silences those voices we are a democracy much as we are not yet where we want to be but we should be able to accept that this is violence because it is hate speech it is inciting violence free speech should be able to allow divergent views that do not intend to spread hate and incite violence it is very very heartbreaking that so many people are keeping quiet about this and you just cannot know where the direction we are headed 
and for many of you that find it okay, more especially those ones that belong to a group that he comes from, that find it privileged to say so, woe to you because you are barring this nation. The future of this nation is being put down by you because you are not condemning. You are not distancing yourself away from such voices, but you rather laugh at them and laugh with them. It is wrong. You do not include people, pe families of people, and talking about the, the, the children and wives. Bakoni, iyagasa kuyingire, otuke wabu ana wabu suvi neka no kakazi kaka akaina amanyo go kungulu akatusi, mbuno kaga afukale dikaringe sons, obo wone kabu titire. And think it is very okay for politics, it is wrong. All of us should condemn hate speech. And all of us should distance ourselves from people that incite violence because that's not who we are. And that's not going to build this nation. It is time to define ourselves and define, like I said in the previous video, which route of our country we want us to take. Very wrong. Very wrong to laugh at this. That's what I know. I, I looked at and I was disturbed. I can't believe. However, all hope is not lost to you, a Ugandan is watching from wherever you are. All hope is not lost. Do not mind about these petty, mean, and wrong voices. They sound too loud and subversive, but the good work of the good people sound much more louder and let us not be distracted by these people let us continue putting our efforts in the nation building in building a nation that we are going to be proud of a nation that we shall be able to be proud that our children and our children's children will be able to live in continue the good work build and make sure you are not turned off by this let us stand firm to condemn. And I will request, Alexis at Ismail, everywhere you are, I've had a time to interact with you, to come and say, I am sorry for what I said, because it was gross and it was wrong. I am Mordecai Mulisa, for God and my country. <laughs>